So, uh, Trunky, uh, Trunky, Trunky Beam is an application that helps you move content around uh, around your digital life. Yeah. So, uh, today you generate a lot of content with your camera. Yeah. You have a lot of content on a network attached storage, for instance. Yeah. And you have a bunch of content coming from a lot of sources from the net. You want to enjoy all this content in one location, which is your big TV with the good surround sound yeah. in your comfy couch. So this is what Twonky Beam is trying to do. Uh, Twonky Beam is a free application available for uh, uh, Android, phone and tablet, and uh, iOS, phone and tablet. And the application itself is pretty much a browser. But it's a very, it's a special browser that understands video. So, for instance, I can go here and I can see the uh, video device that I have in my network. Right. In this case, I have a Roku, I have an Xbox 360. I could have, we do not have one here, I can have an Apple TV and yeah. I can have, say, a connected TV, DLNA TV, this type of thing. Let's say, for instance, I'm selecting the Xbox 360. Yep. And, uh, up. From there, I can navigate to the open internet. Again, if you try to find one piece of content on YouTube on your connected yes. TV with a remote, oh, yeah. it's a joke. Yeah. And the way to solve that is they give you the what's new feed or the trending feed, 20 pieces of video, and that's not YouTube. Here, I go to the actual YouTube website. I can navigate anywhere. I can search, I can discover it. I find a piece of content I'm interested yeah. in and the browser will recognize the piece of content and overlay a beam button and I can just press the beam button and the content is going straight to the, to the TV. As simple as that. Open Discoveries, actual website, no question asked. Yeah. But it goes much beyond that. I can go to my personal content. I'm going to stop it because of the noise. I can go to my NAS and, for instance, check my music. And uh, any artist, Mr. Boys, big, you know, nice interface. Yeah. And, you know, I start on my Xbox. I have my, uh, I have my uh, Roku over there. I can, for instance, no, Android, iOS. Take the music from one that, yeah. to the yeah. other, etc., etc. Uh, I can stop here, for instance. I can go back, uh, and it works also for uh, on uh, Android. And one of the beauties that if you have a iOS uh, tablet, uh, iPad, or iPhone, you're never going to be able to beam to your no. to send content to to the Xbox if you follow Apple. With big from beam, you can. Now I have an Android phone, and I can send content now to my Apple TV or my Xbox. Box on my Roku. I mean, it's really dynamic. And um, content I create here. This is, for instance, video I created a little earlier. I make sure I'm on the Roku. And uh, so this is video I took when I arrived at the show. Yeah. And I can now play it on my TV. No need to. No need to plug. Yeah, no need to see. The content is here. Sent back to to to, uh, to that box. Completely transparent. So this is what we are doing really help people kind of consume the content that they have, that they own, that they create within a digital lifestyle. It's not about uh, a closed garden or, uh, or a specific ecosystem. It's really about bridging the gaps between all those ecosystems. Yeah. The application itself is free. It's Twonky Beam, uh, available for iOS and Android. Uh, you go to, Apple, uh, to the App Store or the Google Play, you can yeah. download it from there. The way we make money is with a license technology to uh, hardware partner, consumer electronic, TV guys, network and data storage, and this is how we, we collect yeah. revenue. So we can offer that for free for the end user. So is, is it well, with any sort of DLNA client then? Yes. Yes, yeah. any DNA client, you have a Samsung TV, you have whatever it works. Yeah. The other thing is it's pretty much, if you have anything connected, it's going to work. Yeah. Unless you have really like an old proprietary yeah. stuff. Yeah. Excellent. That's great. I'm a big fan of it, actually. I do use it myself, so... Yeah. And again, you should definitely use, uh, should definitely try. On Xbox, it's great. You can even game and interrupt gaming sessions, send content to it. I mean, it's really, really work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time.